What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another themed squad builder video. Last week we did a 99 pace team. Uh, there's one anomaly and I want to explain it in today's video, we'll get to it. Today's video is going to be a 99 shooting team. Now instead of me going into an early foot champs game or a rivals game or an online singles game, we're actually going to be playing against a subscriber today on the stream. And... Uh, Here's the team. It's so so basically it's 99 in every stat, obviously. Um I, I was I was debating on whether or not I should have done 99 face card stat only or 99 in-game stats. Because for example, we could get Marcus Alonso, who has 99 shooting uh for the face card stat, but I can't get him to 99 shooting in every in-game stat because of the weird uh the weird upgrade system of uh attribute cards and chem stars, right? So we went for a team full of 99 in every single area. So the first player that we're going to be using is going to be Atal. Of course, we have a plus 15 shooting attribute card on him. He doesn't quite have 99 in every stat yet until the chemistry comes in. And then in defense, our first center back is going to be Lothar Mateus's icon card. Uh, the center back icon card, of course, he uh, with the stat card again gets boosted up massively. There was no way to do this without stat cards. I think we did the 99 pace team without stat cards. Um, the 99 shooting team is just too difficult because of the way the center backs and stuff work. And then we also have, uh, as as a uh, as a defender, we're also going to be putting Dennis Burkamp in at center back. So with the attributes cards for him and the chem style as well, he will eventually become 99. Obviously, Dennis Burkamp's not going to play center back for me. Um, no, of course, I would never would never play Dennis Burkamp center back. That would would be crazy. He's playing at CDM instead. Um, and then <clears throat> for left back. We went and picked up Vierinha. So a couple of players straight away that I've never really used before. Uh, the first time I'm ever going to use this Atal card. Obviously, I'm not going to have the perfect chem style on him to get a full viewing of him. I've never used this Vierinha card before either. And this Vierinha card looks very, very good. A little low on strength, but other than that, and, and composure as well. Uh, but as a defender, it doesn't really ma matter too much for composure. Uh, so that strength is a bit of an issue. But other than that, the card is incredibly well-balanced and incredibly well-rounded. Uh, and looks looks like he's going to be a beast and was one of my favorite cards from FIFA 15 when he had a gold right wing card. It was very, very good. And then, uh, yeah, Dennis Burkamp comes in as well. The two CDMs that are going to go into the team, I think you already saw them, is going to be Aubameyang and Wijnaldum. Um, Wijnaldum coming in clutch for a few links, which you'll see in a second. And again, is going to get 99 across the board for shooting. For me, uh, when I packed this card, I, got, I think I got his red card uh, in my Foot Champs Rewards back on week one. I kind of turned away from this card. 5'9", high, high, 3-star, 4-star. It's actually a really good card in, in many regards. And even though the meta for FIFA is having really tall, really high-rated players, sorry, sorry, really tall, like, high players, uh, you know, good strength, good body types, um, this one album card might have that Kante-esque feel of just being a little ball terrier in the midfield. So uh, it's a shame I didn't give him a chance because he might have been a little bit better. And then Aubameyang coming in hot with that finisher chem style. The attributes card needed on him as well. Again, because of the way the weird upgrade system works in this game, we needed the uh, the Aubameyang chem boost as well. In at the first cam spot, uh, we've actually got a centre forward. <clears throat> and that is going to be Thierry Henry. And in at the second cam spot is going to be the main man, Rude Hullet. Of course, we the, the, uh, in the attacking roles... There's an infinite number of players you could go for, right? To get on to 99 stats. Any any team of the season attacker within reason, um, we'd be able to get up there. Christian Eriksen, Quagliarella on the bench. That Gareth Bale card, you know, for other cards that we have in the team as well. Um, who have we got that's, uh, that's an attacker here? Like this Paredes, for example. We could very comfortably get him up to 99 shooting in every stat as well. Um, Pookie, probably so as well um low even with the 85 like base stat is still pretty much good enough to get them all the way up there um <clears throat> but we decided to go for as you saw there uh bastost as one of our first strikers um it's a scream card so we already had 99 in stats in, like in shooting anyway but we had to try and boost his stats up via the chem style because the attribute card wouldn't have worked with him even though i did put it on him it didn't work with him and that left us with the final uh, the final striker to kind of put everything together. And that was uh, one of the icons that we had. Um, wait, was it one of the icons that we had? Who the hell was my last person? Centre mid? Oh, is it Ronaldo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That, that's how it sets up. Ronaldo in there at the other cam and Henri at the other strike spot. So this is the team all together. Um, 
Every single player, other than the goalkeeper, obviously, has 99 shooting. <clears throat> they don't all have 99 face card stats. And this is where I think people got confused with Varane in the 99 pace video. So Atal has 99 in every single stat, in-game stat. The shooting face card is not really a, a relevant section for me here. Uh, Lothar Mateus as well. He gets that 11 plus on finishing to 99. Dennis Burkamp also goes up to 99. Vierinha goes up to 99s across the board. Wijnaldum goes up to 99s across the board. Again, the attribute cards are really important for this, but the, the, you know, if we want that 99 shot, then we've got to have it in there. Hullet goes up to 99. And this is where Hullet actually only has 98 shooting. Like his shooting says 98. But because of the chem style boost, it's 99 in every single category. So he does have 99. If I wanted to, I could give him a silver chem, uh, a silver attributes card. This is what somebody said to me in chat. Give him a silver chem style like attribute card uh, just to make it say 99. So it like kind of pleases everybody so if you want me to do that we can get it up to 99 so now it says 99 it's the same in game stats it just reads 99 instead of 98 but it's essentially the same uh ronaldo up to 99s across the board bastos up to 99s across the board as well why is there only a 98 long shots oh wait oh yeah, yeah, yeah sorry we need to put the uh the dutch manager in i changed that as well didn't i and it didn't it didn't change the dutch manager either there we go with unai emery out and the dutch manager in Bastos also goes up to 99 in every single stat. And then Thierry Henry also goes up to 90, 99 in every single stat. And the way this team's going to line up in game, I am going to be playing against a subscriber, like a viewer. So it's not really like important to sweat it out. <clears throat> and based on that, the way we're lining up is like this. We've got Vierinha and Atal in fullback slots. We're going to play Ruud Hullet and Lothar Mateus at centre-back with Burkamp and Wijnaldum in the CDM roles. Uh, Aubameyang, Ronaldo, Dost and Henry up front. So Dost is genuinely there just to see if we can spam crosses to the back post to him um the only really out of place player is kind of Dennis Burkamp. like obviously Mateus is not really suited for a center back he's a bit short but he's got great stats for it Rude Hullet as well has got very good stats and is massive as well uh Wijnaldum is again a bit short but very well suited for a CDM so in in this whole team the only really like wildly out of place player is Dennis Burkamp in a CDM in terms of instructions, very simple. Stay central, getting behind for Henri. Stay back while attacking for Burkamp and Wijnaldum and for Atal and Vierinha. And then for tactics, we are on drop back three depth. Um, and then I, I set that up because I was going to go for... Uh, let, let me let me go on pressure, actually. I, I set it up drop back three depth because I thought I was going to go into rivals. And that would have just been a nightmare because I'm at like 25-50 for skill rating. So I would have been coming up against insane players with insane teams. But that is how the team is going to look up and line up. And then let's get into the game and see if we can pick ourselves up some goals with a team with 99 shooting. I will be right back. All right, guys, into the game we go. Look at this pay-to-win team, man. Cliver, Vieira, Blanc, uh, Edison and uh, Marquinhos. Nice strong link there into, um, into Munir. Wow, he's using Mina at right mid with Valencia. That's a really nice link as well, uh, actually. And then Hazard and Alonso at left back. It's a really well-built together team. Um, I, I'm going to focus because I don't want to lose to a viewer. So I am going to try my best to sweat this one out, guys. And uh, one of the reasons why we decided to play against a viewer was as follows. If we had played against a... Um, if we had played in online singles and in early games of foot champs, it's very, very likely that we would have got a, uh, a rage quit. And then with all the attribute cards that I've ended up using... It wouldn't have been wouldn't have been too good, right? 99. 99 goal. Let's go. Um and if we had played as an online singles, it's very, very likely we well, I said online singles anyway, but yeah, online singles we absolutely definitely would have got a rage quit. And then if I played against um a rivals in like in foot rivals, I just think it would have been ridiculously hard. Ridiculously hard to just even perform anything or do anything. Uh, because I would have been coming up against such a good squad and such a good player that it just would not have been an experience that I would have enjoyed. Um, and so uh, we end up playing against the sub. And uh, at that point, now maybe he rage quits. I don't know. You know, if, if we could, if we could, if we could hit him like that, that would be quite nice. But maybe he doesn't rage quit. A scoop. Ah, boom. Born bast. Oh no, wait. It's going for Henri Ronaldo. Even I was hoping Dost would be there, but. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so basically, it was so that we could get a full game out of the team without getting a rage quit and, and have a, a, a just just a, a, a more relaxed experience. You know, um, there's no pressure to play here. Even if I lose, it doesn't you know it doesn't matter. We're against a viewer. You know, I, I think we can both understand that it's about having a, a fun experience of a game um, rather than having the sweatiest experience. 
of a game. Uh, now, I think I'm against Tommy here. Um, was it Tommy? Tommy? Let me know in the chat. Obviously not now. Next time the ball goes out of play, I suppose. Um, and I think he said he's a gold two level player. So obviously I'm like a, a better a better level of player, uh, generally speaking. And I've got stat cards on all my players for boosting shooting. But to, to his advantage, I don't... That's cheating. I don't have uh, proper defenders. I don't have defensive chem styles. I don't have proper CDMs. Like... You know what I mean? Like it's it, it like he definitely has a, a big advantage in in that manner, and that's why we can concede goals like that because I just don't have the capabilities defensively. So um, that's why we uh, we went with that. So one of the main things that I want to experience, and that's why I I, I hit that shot that I hit with uh, Bastos, is I do want to experience some of the long shots that we can take with these players from like this sort of range. Is that a corner? Oh no, it's not. Uh, yeah, from that sort of range. J just to see what having 99 and everything matters. Sadly, it doesn't... Like, because you can't take into consideration... And this this is where I think EA need to do better in, in terms of giving us information, right? You can't take into consideration... Um, composure. And, and how it impacts shooting, you know? And and you can't take into consideration other other values that we just don't know in this game. Oh, clean from Dost! A little low driven into the corner. What a finish that was. G Fuel guys, 30% off until uh, July 3rd. Code Nepo at checkout. That's a very good goal. I think Look at that finish, man. Oh, he hits that clean, boys. That was nice. Is that a two star weak foot? Hey, man. When you got 99 shooting, you have a zero star weak foot. Or a five star weak foot, even. There is no such thing as a weak foot with 99 shooting. I actually wonder how it is with 99 shooting and, and, and weak foots and, and how that kind of like gets taken into consideration. Don't Dost. Oh my God. Is that foul ref? Doesn't matter. Dost too strong. I thought he was offside there. I definitely didn't try about four of those passes EA, but okay. Close, close boys, close. Close, we're trying. We're trying some of those some of those nice shots there. We're trying to get something in behind. He's got where are you actually playing Bernardo Silva up front? Bernardo Silva. you're doing bits there. Oh, we absolutely done him there. Unlucky Tommy Pow. JK. That's my ball. Thank you very much. Let's just clear that out. We've got Bastos out there to obviously win these uh win these win these balls up here. And then Bastos in there. Go on. Oh, Burkamp. Burkamp as a CDM is not good. Good shot. Unlucky. Have a try with the defenders. It's, it's very difficult to get the defenders into shooting uh, shooting positions. Now, I am playing like high press. Not high press, but high... Um, like something or other anyway. That pen? Doesn't matter. That pen, ref? How many? Two times. Come on now. Want Burkamp the CDM of dreams, lads. <clears throat> Here's Ronaldo. This is where we hit it, boys. This is where we hit the old. Oh no, it doesn't want to register it. Old Tornado into Bastos. He gets up. No, he doesn't. Wow. Isn't he like six foot eleven? And Bastos can't even win the header. That's embarrassing. Embarrassed Dos should be the name. Vierinha to a Bamiang. Bamiang has one goal. Here it is. Henri goal. Didn't even need to time that. Thierry Henry with a goal of dreams. Six foot eleven. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's got like ten jumping. Oh, is he actually? Thierry Henry with a phenomenal strike. Didn't and, and I think this is something skills has been telling me ages as well. He's like, dude, you don't even need to time first time shots with the high end players, you know? It's like you they already have such max shooting stats that you can't like there's no error already. And so even though I'm used to timing it. I got to, I, when, when I'm playing with players, obviously with attribute cards, it's a bit different. But when I'm playing with players like uh, Henri or Ronaldo or whatever, I got to learn to literally just start hitting the shots straight away first time. That's nice play. Kickoff, this doesn't count. Kickoff doesn't count. It's kickoff. There's still 3-1. That doesn't count. Um, it's still 3-1. So, uh, l hey, listen, you, you, I mean, it looks like it's 3-2, but we all know it's actually only 3-1. Allison gets a big hand to that as well and flings into the top corner. Yeah, disallowed. It doesn't count. Um, 
Let's uh, let's see. If, I mean, we've already scored three goals. The fact that I've only conceded two goals so far with no uh, no defense is hello, Joss. What are you doing? Um, is pretty pretty cool. Hopefully, Tommy doesn't make uh, the comeback of dreams though. He is he is he's, he's picking me. Up. He's handed it off to his uh, to his dad. I think he's got he's, he's been like, Dad, I'm getting smashed. Can you come and uh, come and give me a hand here? And that's exactly what's happened. And Bernardo Silva, look, is. We're dominating for 35 minutes, and then out of nowhere, he's putting pinging passes together. A couple of easy shots, easy goals. And do you know what's funny, Tommy? Did you try the first time? Because since I was talking about first time shots, you tried two first time shots. Um, did you try them? Because I mentioned them, and and that's that's what makes the difference between elite, like elite level and gold level players, is just understanding what to do and when to do it. He says in the chat, guys, that he did do. He tried that shot literally because I was talking about first time time, like just first time shots. And it already made a big impact on how he's going to be playing this game now. Um, and so that's why what I say to people is like, when, you, when you're like struggling to get better in the game and you say, people say, oh, how, how do I improve? How do I get better? Like this game's broken. There's no skill gap and things like that. There is a skill gap. Obviously, it's like the skill gap is, is relatively small in, in some regards. There has to be a foul there, game. Um, there is a skill gap there. But a lot of the times, like a lot of people have like a lot of the good mechanics down to certain areas. And then just let themselves down in in other areas. For example, when I watch Nick all the time, Nick Nick's build up play and passing is is just brilliant, but then his shooting is just terrible. And I sit there and I think to myself, like, if he just learned how to shoot, that's that's outrageous. I think to myself, if he just learned how to shoot, he'd he'd get like 25, 26 wins every time. Um, but he just never he just never took the time to do it. And then when he started doing it, he got his first ever elite. That that's outrageous, isn't it? That's <laughs> this game is uh. This game is tough. We're actually going to have to focus now because uh, we've gone from 3-1 up and cruising to conceding a few cheesy goals there. One nice goal, um, but yeah, a few cheesy goals. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three. Of course, that uh, that that second goal didn't count because it was from kick... No, the third goal. No, it was the second goal. Yeah, it didn't count because it was from kickoff. And if this is a goal as well, this also doesn't count as well because it's from kickoff. So um, it also doesn't... The, the, the result doesn't count either because I have... Uh, I don't have a proper team out. So the result doesn't count. So we, we, we're basically, we just win regardless here. All right, let's see if we can get Bastos onto the ball. Oh! Oh, he bikes it. He bikes it, but it doesn't quite come through. Man, my team's getting... See, now, now is the time where if I was playing in a competitive setting, I would not be on high press. He's gay. These goals, man. Um, yeah, I would not be on high press. Oh, he's... that. Okay. Okay. He's dabbing. I see. I see how we're going. I see how we're going, guys. All right, let's get Ronaldo off. Uh, let's bring Bale on. <clears throat> now we'll go drop back three depth, and we'll come back into this game. We go, if, if you're going to dab on me, we're going to have to try hard. And we're going to have to try and get back into this uh, into this game. Toxic Tommy, indeed. <clears throat> Look at that. Another cheese goal. The goals have genuinely been cheese as well. A couple of my... That Bastos goal for me was cheese too. The left footer. Um, but the goal has been cheese, like rebounds and tackles all coming in hot and, and not really uh, not really being registered. But we've got we've gone from what was a nice fun game into a game that is now uh, going to be me sweating try hard in getting the best out of it that we can. These crosses are just not working anymore. <clears throat> oh god damn! Oh, it's, it's, it, the, the the computer's like pulling me away. Oh, pull it, that's you, baby. There we go, Burkamp. We've got fit. We're only in the fifty-third minute. We've got loads of time. Low, go on, Bale. I see you, buddy. Nope. I actually, pick that ball up as well. But <laughs> Dennis Burkamp. <clears throat> right. I still. I, I bought Ericsson on. He does have a, a stat card. Did I? No. Wait. Did mm, I had Alonso with a stat card? Didn't I? Not Ericsson. Um. Maybe Ericsson doesn't have the shooting that I thought he did have. Right. Here we go, Bale. Bell's through the middle there. Bastos with a pass of dreams. Gareth Bell cuts inside. Marcus Alonso with some good defending there. That should be my ball again. Yeah, Vierinho has the stats, definitely. As I said to you guys, like it's gonna it's gonna be tricky anyway. Like all, all jokes aside, it's gonna be tricky playing with a, a team that you know, has Lothar Mateus in defense with no defensive stats. <clears throat> if, if this is another rebound goal. Um and, and has Hullet in defense with no defensive chem star boost. And and it's it's on games like this. You know, when when people that uh, don't believe in what is that? Um, 
yeah, when, when people don't believe in chem styles, it's games like this. And I always say to people, like, uh, they're like, oh, chem styles are a myth. I can't believe you actually believe that. And I say to them, try a game by putting the wrong chem styles on your players, right? And then you'll see how important chem styles are. Because you'll recognize that, oh, actually, your defenders that usually defend really well for you are just defending horrifically for you and things like that, right? So th this, this, again, is like another perfect example of that. You can see just how bad the defenders are at tracking runs and, and at just defending in general. Um, how having like Lothar Mateus is, is pretty bad as well for, for um, Jesus Christ, for headers. And, and you, you just really understand the experience is so different when you don't have what you thought you had. Um, and so I would say to anyone that doesn't believe in chem styles, try what I'm doing here. Try, try putting players that have the wrong chem styles on in your team and then tell me that chem styles don't exist. Is that not a foul game? That's about three times. <clears throat> right, what minute are we in? We're in the 70th minute here. <clears throat> There's Lothar Mateus. Now, the, the highlight of the game, obviously, is we did... Jesus Christ, EA, please. Absolutely crucifying me out here. Right, here's Aubameyang. <clears throat> oh, I was hoping he'd think I'd, like, going to cut him for the pass again. There's Virinia getting in behind. And again, we've got Bastos. Is that not a foul on Aubameyang again? And, and because of that, Bastos has tried to pump the ball a million miles away. This, this game is horrific here. He's, he's fouling me on purpose. He's gone on... Look, he's gone on, he's gone on three depth. He's so desperate for the win. He's gone on low depth, drop back. And he's just sweating it out. I'm trying to sweat out myself as well, but it's not really working for me. Especially not with all these touches. These touches are absolutely horrific. Right. 99 shooting. Wow, he's moving his keeper there as well. No foul, ref. No foul. We've got 15 minutes. At one goal. One goal, we'll, we'll put the pressure on. <clears throat> Could be through here, though. No through here. Mateus, we've got the ball through. Oh, we've got loads of time here. That was, a, that was a stop and turn that just didn't register, as per usual. Here's Dost into Aubameyang. Aubameyang. Into Henri. Henri! Misses. 99 shooting, but misses. Lag, though, guys. Lag. Tommy is defo gold one? No, I don't think so. Listen, you guys have to understand the... The, the, and this is, where skill, this is where team building and skill gap comes in. So for reference for the video, the stream is saying that Tommy said that he was a goal two, but he's not a goal two player. I think you, you have to understand how impactful the broken game mechanics and meta opportunities are in terms of a goal two player versus an elite three player. If you give, if you give a goal two player um, a full end meta team explain to them the meta tactics and explain to them you know about crossing or first time shots and things like that you can turn them into an elite three player very very comfortably and arguably if you give an elite three player like myself or an elite two player like myself that relies heavily on broken game mechanics and, and broken team uh, and stuff like that you can see that when i don't have those capabilities it, it re dramatically reduces my efficiency in game and, and that's, that's why this game is so unbalanced this year, because it's just, it's one of those ones where it's like, you want it to be a better game, to be a better player, but the game isn't better. So you've got to, you've got to like forge yourself to play the way the game wants you to play to get the rewards. And because the game is so heavily based around rewards, that's how people play. Um, Jesus Christ, these, these rebounds. Um, and so it, it, it go, like, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, Tommy was just a goal two standard player. It would surprise me if he hit gold one here or there, or elite here or there either, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me when one out of them. Wow. I can't get the luck in front of goal. And then Burkamp flies it away as well. Um, yeah, you just, you, you know, you, you definitely sit here, yeah, 99 shooting, right? And that's why I said it, it'd be interesting to see what, how, what impact composure and stuff makes. Like, I, I wonder, I, I genuinely just wonder how much impact it makes. <clears throat> Wow, no, my passes are not going where I'm aiming them either, but that's that's no like real excuse here. There's a ball through to Bale, on to Dost. Still Dost, still Dost. 
surely a foul there. Surely a foul there. GG's Tommy anyway, guys. That was my 99 shooting uh, team, guys. Um, not not a very uh, not a very fun experience with some of the goals scored and conceded there. That um, that first the first goal was alright. The Aubameyang goal was really nice. The um, the Dost goal was. I mean, it's just a cheese goal. It, it is what I tried to do, but it, it's on his left foot, a two star weak foot. And you'll see here, it just flies into the bottom corner, even though it, it was a hard shot. So it's raised. It's a raised shot. It's not a low-driven shot, but it somehow creeps in. It's a very cheese goal. Um, we then can see the kickoff goal, which is a bit tough because you guys know kickoffs are broken anyway. But a strong hand from the goalkeeper and it still just flies in. And then just a few minutes later, Bernardo Silva again comes off of a couple of tackles here too. Good tackle from uh, Rude Hullet. Flies back into... Uh, into my man here and he just pops it into the back of the net. Nice finish in the end, to be fair. And then he scores on the stroke of half time again after a, already a couple of tackles. Another tackle there. And you didn't see the other few tackles beforehand because obviously the replay uh, center doesn't show it. And then another goal from uh, Mina there. And again, uh, just a rebound. I mean, when, when the ball comes to him, he's one man in, in, in amongst five men. And it, it drops to the opponent. And again, it's just the unbalanced mechanics of FIFA and, and how the game's played. It carries on going. But that, guys, is indeed the uh, 99 shooting team. Let me know in the comment section down below what team you want to see next. Whether it's 99 composure, five-star weak foot, uh, goalkeepers only. You know, any, any theme squad build you want to see me play a game with, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.